Okay, hello guys. Hello, hello. So here is our first first guided exercises, which is the working paper for the agency accounting guided exercises. So I'm using the Excel para mas madali nating um, go in guided exercises. So here is a given. Okay. So let's answer this. Uh, this is actually prepare entries on the home office books to record the above transactions and determine the net income identified with the agency. Okay, so let's start. So first, we the transfer of 5000 to an agency to establish a working fund. So if you have seen my um, tawag din, my lecture about agency accounting, binigay ko na din doon yung mga uh, journal entries for each uh, type of transaction. So, so working fund, we actually do debit for working fund okay so this is letter a actually may sagot na ako kukulayan ko na lang okay working fund debit agency for 5000 and then we credit what cash for 5000 because we are establishing a working fund for the agency okay so is it okay okay lang sa inyo <laughs> get nya okay okay next we have receipt of sales orders from the agency, 50,000. So, nagkaroon daw ng order si agent. Binigay ni, ni home office yung order. Okay, so we have 50,000 credit accounts payable, uh, debit accounts receivable, and then credit sales. Okay, so for the amount of 50,000. Okay. So, yan. Man, bakit sales order ang tawag? Kasi nga, um, ipo-forward pa siya sa home office. Okay. So, yan. So, parang orders ni voucher. Hindi mo voucher. Parang, o oh nga, sales order ang tawag. Okay. Next. Collections of agent accounts by the home office. So, nangulekta na. Debit. Cash. Siyempre, dahil pumasok ang pera. Credit. Accounts receivable. For the amount of 35 thousand pesos. Ang saan ko makikita? Actually, ito yung nasa book nyo and also nasa uh, video lecture ko. Okay? Next. Home office disbursement representing agents expenses for five. Okay? So, I just want you to know na ito ay yung expenses daw ay kinuha sa home office. So, it was not uh, hindi siya kinuha sa working fund. Okay, hindi siya kinuha dito. May sariling disbursement si home office from, not from the working fund, but from siguro sa fund mismo ni home office regarding certain uh, certain certain allocation. Doon kinuha. Kaya magkakaroon siya ng journal entry. Ma'am, kailan lang po magkakaroon ng no entry? Kapag kinuha yung, yung ex agency expenses sa working fund. Ma'am, bakit magkakaroon ng no entry? Kasi, impress fund system tells us na yung expenses is nira record during the time of replenishment. Okay? So, dito, dahil hindi sa working fund kinuha, may journal entry to. Okay? Debit, debit, expenses, agency, hindi kasi sinabi ko na expenses yon. then credit cash for the amount of 4 five. Yeah, I hope you get it. Okay, next, we have letter E, replenishment of the agency's working fund upon receipt of expense voucher for 2250 Yan, nagkaroon ng voucher or nagkaroon ng expenses si agency na worth 2250 Kaya nag na expense voucher kay home office, magkakaroon tuloy ng replenishment na. Okay, so letter E, debit expenses agency credit cash in the amount of 2250 Okay? So, yun lang kasi yung pinadalang expense voucher eh. So, dahil gusto na mag-replenish, eh di sige. From 5,000 kasi, so matitira na lang is halos what, uh, kalahati na lang matitira. Kaya siguro pinapa-replenish na. Okay, next, letter F. Cost of goods sold identified with agency sales is 36,000. So, we, we record letter F. Debit. Paano pag COGS? COGS, agency, credit, cash, ah, sorry. Credit shipments to agency in the amount of 36,000. Okay? So, yan. Ganyan na itsura. Tapos na tayo dyan. So, okay, dito. Kaso, gusto natin malaman yung net income. So, kailangan natin mag-adjusting entries. 
Okay, ano ba malimit in adjust? We have the sales, the cogs, and the expenses. So, let's go to the adjusting entries. First, we adjust sales. So, paano? Debit, sales, credit, income summary agency. Actually, this is not adjusting entries. This is actually closing. Okay. Closing entries for the income, uh, for the agency accounting. Okay, sales. Magkano naging sales natin? We have 50,000 here. And then, Siyempre, 50,000 sa income summary. Next, we close COGS. Okay? So, debit, income summary, credit, COGS, in the amount of ito, 36,000. Okay? Next, expenses. So, we debit, income summary agency, then credit, expenses, yung una, yung letter D, okay? Four, five, and then credit again expenses in letter E two to fifty for a total of six seven fifty. Okay, then the last closing entry is actually closing the income summary. Income summary, yeah. closing the income summary account to the general income summary. Okay, so income summary agency to the income summary. General. Okay. So, ito yung general ha. Nasa baba. Ma'am, bakit mo nalaman na i-debit ang income summary agency at hindi credit? Kasi, di ba pag naka-debit naka ang income summary agency tapos i-close mo sa income summary, ibig sabihin meron kang profit. Pag naka-credit ang income summary agency at naka-debit ang income summary general, ibig sabihin may loss ka. Okay? Kasi na-compute ko na yung income summary for agency. So, paano? Nag-key account ako. Okay? Income summary agency, ipinasok ko lahat ng credits niya. So, this one sa sales. We, we credited income summary na ni-recognize tayo ng sales. And then, we credited also the income summary nung nag-36,000. COGS. And then, itong expenses na 6750 Okay? Then, syempre, ending balance, we have 7250 which is also the net profit of the agency. Okay? So, mapapansin nyo, para, sya, para kang nag-sales, para kang nag-sales minus cost of goods sold, minus COGS, minus expenses. Ash, basta ganun. Okay? Minus COGS, bakit? Okay, basta, minus COGS, minus expenses. So, para ka nag-income statement, okay, for the agency. Kaya, papasok dito, 7,250, okay, 7,250, and then this one is also 7,250. Pumasok ngayon sa general mo na may additional ka, 7,250 from your net profit kay agency. Okay, so ganyan lang, okay, ganyan lang ang ating... Agency accounting, madali lang siyang intindihin. You just have to familiarize yourself with the journal entries. Kung ayaw mo namang mag-journal entry ka, edi familiarize yourself with the journal entry. Then, um, adapt it sa uh, yung parang single, uh, parang paragraph problem solving problems. Okay? If kaya mo yun. Okay? Pero tiwala naman ako sa inyong magkakaroon ka ng uh, parang mental computation ng ng key account ng income summary when you're computing from net profit. Ano? So, yan lang. So, see you sa next discussion on home office and branch accounting. Bye-bye!